Hey, Andre, take you back a little bit. Uh, what was it like coming to the organization as an undrafted free agent? And were there things about your mindset or having to really earn everything to uh, get to the point, help you get to the point you are now? Yeah, for sure. Uh, coming in, being undrafted, it, it was definitely kind of a blow. Um, you know, changing positions was also kind of a, a big thing, too. You know, when I got here, coach was like, yeah, go play center. I'm like, perfect, let's do it. Didn't think I'd play center. Knew I was going to play somewhere interior because I didn't think of myself as a tackle. But my mindset was just, you know, just attack it, listen to everything I could, pick up as much I could from these older guys like Rodney and like everything Cape told me. And yeah, just took it day by day. Andre, did you at any point step in at center when you were at UCLA? And was it really a complete surprise to you that they even asked you when you got here to do that? You know, I, at UCLA, no, I never, never even snapped the ball. You know, I played guard for a little bit in uh, the spring, spring ball, but uh, it was tackle the whole time. We didn't have a lot of tackles. Uh, every time we had a tackle come in, they were like, yeah, you're going to go inside play guard. And, it never worked out. So uh, me and Colton, we were, we were the ones holding it down that tackle. And uh, but coming in, you know, going to the league, I had a feeling I was going to because of my height and you know my measurements. I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably go play guard. And when he said I was gonna play center, I was like, cool, let's do it. Andre, when you replace a guy like the person, arguably most people think is the best center in the league, you kind of go two ways on how to accept that or attack it yourself. Like, how do you choose to do that in terms of what he taught you, and then what the expectations would be when you begin to play? Right, you know, Rodney was, you know, arguably, like you said, one of the best centers in the league. So every day I came in here, I just tried to get, you know, a little piece from him, a little information every day. And uh, that's just kind of the attack I still take on the day, just every day, just get a little better, just make, you know, just work on the little things, and it adds up over time, get a little better. So everything I learned for him, I'm still using today. Andre, when you, when you come up kind of as a development player like you did, um, the payoff isn't necessarily the game or short term type goals, um, what were you focusing on to kind of get you through what can be sometimes a lonely type of proposition? Um, you know what, it's, like I said, it was just day by day, it was just the, the little things, you know, working on, you know, I'm going to go out to practice and I'm going to work on this footstep for this play. I'm going to work out on these calls for these certain situations. Just the little stuff, man, they, they pay off huge in the end run. That said, does it feel different now being No, you know, I, I, it, I still attack it the same way, you know. So, Andre, you've been uh, teammates with Colton Miller for a while. You guys developed a relationship at UCLA. Kind of, how much has he been the guidance for you, just as a teammate and as a friend, from your time from UCLA to here now? Right, Colton's one of my best friends, man. You know, uh, coming to the league, I he was definitely a big mentor to me. You know, him, Richie, just hanging out with those guys, just showing me the ropes because it's it's a little different from college, you know. But uh, me and him, we're both real close at UCLA, so to both end up here in the same the same play is awesome, man. I don't care. I can't even explain it. Yeah, there's Tashawn Reed from The Athletic. Um, obviously, you know, you've taken practice snaps with Derek Carr before and then you started the game before, but how important will these three preseason games be just to get some more live snaps and kind of build that rapport before you guys get to the actual regular season? Right, I think uh, it's, it's super important. I think just every day in practice is, you know, anytime I get a snap from him or anytime we're just talking about meetings, it's it's super important. Uh, got a lot of off-season work with him, just going to the parks, just talking over different situations, just getting a feel for it. It's been it's been good. So uh, every, every time we get together, it's you know, always got to work on that chemistry. So he said that you uh, had him over for some steaks and you eat different steaks. Than him. What what kind of steaks did you grill up? Oh man, I we had uh, we had, we had some good old tomahawk wagyu. Uh, smoked a smoked a 16 pound brisket for 12 hours. Just had a bunch of the guys over, did some plate ribs. So it was a good little hoorah for before we started this camp up. Uh, he he got a bunch of the guys together when you know things were shut down. They stayed distance, but to sort of build that rapport and get workouts in mm-hmm. seems to be something that he likes to do in terms of building that right. chemistry. Did you get a feel of that since you run in terms of having that that? off-field chemistry as well? Oh, for sure. I mean, you look at the guys that are, are there at the park training, it's the guys that are out there playing on Sundays, and, you know, it means something to them. So for to take, you know, to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday in the off-season, you know, to beat the heat and get out there on the field, it shows a lot, you know, for how bad you want this, so. Andre, this, uh, this off-season is, I mean, it's one thing that the, the coaching staff has, has put their faith in you to be the starter at this point, but to also get an extension as well before you be, you, you set, stepped on the field as full-time starter. Does it feel to have that kind of faith put in you at this point? Uh, it feels awesome, man, honestly. Like, uh, 
just a, it gives me confidence, you know, having confidence from these coaches. So it helps me uh, not worry as much. Not that's it, it helps me elevate my game in a worry like I feel like I have no need to worry, so I can go out there and play as hard as I can. Andre, uh, Derek mentioned earlier that he got very confident in you just when you had to step in and play in Detroit and uh, get those snaps with him. And uh, do you think from that game here, do you think that was a kind of like a stepping stone for you to like kind of like mentally be like, I can be in this league, I can play just with the best of them? Oh, for sure. When uh, Ronnie went down in that Houston game, uh, I felt super confident. I, I always prepared my mindset like I could go in there at any time, and that's just how I had to prepare for each game like I was going to start that game. So when my number was called, just next man up mentality. Andre, how much communication goes into what you do with Derek and trying to really uh, be cohesive as a unit in your new role here? It's a lot of communication. I think uh, throughout the week, you know, breaking down certain formations and certain uh, what we need to do for certain protections. It's it's good to be on the same page. So we talk a lot. You know, whether it's text or where it's meetings, it's there's a lot of communication that goes into it. Well, a couple of your teammates have mentioned that you've really kind of taken a hold of a, of a leadership role, which is expected as the starting center. How has that transition been for you, going from? from behind, sitting behind Rodney to just being a leader on this team? Uh, like I said earlier, like uh, everything I picked up from Rodney, whether the preparation throughout the game week, I, I, I prepared like a starter. So so now it doesn't feel any different. It always, it always in my mindset, I always went into it feeling like I was going to play that game. So that's still how I'm attacking it right now.